I am Anil Kumar and we are discussing exceptions to the rules of rational functions. To find the x-intercept of a rational function, equate the numerator to 0. That is what we say and most of the students take it as a rule, which is indeed a rule but it has to be used cautiously. Let me give you an example to make it very clear. Let's say if the x function is 2x minus 1 divided by x square minus 1. In that case, if we have to find the x-intercept, what are we going to do? For x-intercept, we know fx should be equal to 0, right? The y value should be equal to 0. And therefore, we equate the numerator 2x minus 1 to 0. Solve for x. We say 2x equals to 1 and x equals to half. Perfect. So the x-intercept is at x equals to half. That is correct. But this rule cannot be applied always. For example, let me give you a second case. Uh, g of x is equals to, let us say, x minus 1 divided by x square minus 1. In that case, if you do the same calculations for x-intercept, that is, say, g of x should be equal to 0. And if you equate x minus 1 to 0, you get x equals to 1. Remember, x equals to 1 is not the x-intercept. The question is, is x equals to 1 x-intercept? The answer is no, because x equals to 1 is a restriction. Here in the denominator, we have x squared minus 1. The restriction is that x cannot be equal to plus and minus 1. So most of the time, when you are calculating x-intercept, Look for what? Restrictions, okay? So do not write your x-intercept as calculated if it is amongst the restrictions. So that is kind of caution. So look for restrictions. Since x equals to 1 is a restriction, right? We have a vertical asymptote there. Sorry, we have a hole there because it gets cancelled off when you when you simplify it. So you could actually write g of x as equals to x minus 1 over x plus 1 times x minus 1. It cancels off leading to a hole, right, at x equals to 1. So we do not have any x-intercept in this particular example, correct? So that is how you have to look into the equation carefully and help yourself providing with the correct answer. These mistakes at times can cost you a lot of marks in the test. I hope that helps. Thank you.